Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Thursday, January 12th. Please rise for the pledge. A moment of silence. Please be seated. The Climber yearbook needs pictures. Students grades 7 through 12 are encouraged to share pictures with Mrs. DiLorenzo or Mrs. DeSimone in Google Drive or bring hard copies of photos to the main office. We can't put you in the book if you don't send us pictures. Attention all yearbook staff members. We will be meeting today during Power Block in the office. As the Patriots begin the push towards another Super Bowl, tomorrow is Patriots Day. So wear your Pats gear. The New England Trust Scholarship is due March 13th. Please stop by for applications if interested. Also, please make sure you check in on a regular basis as scholarship applications are always being added. If you are thinking of applying to PCC, please stop by the guidance for an application. Openings are still available. All seniors with an internship second semester should touch and base with Ms. Page sometime this week or next. Honors Breakfast attendee list is now posted outside the teacher's lounge. Students, please review and check in the guidance office for any questions regarding invitation status. The Honors Breakfast will be on Friday, January 27, 2017. Middle school begins at 7.45 with high school following at 9.15. Anyone interested in playing softball this year? Please see Allie May, Ashley Condon, or Meg Outerbridge sometime this week. Attention National Junior Honor Society members. There will be a meeting today after school in Mr. Despierre's room. Any questions, please see Mr. D. The Wildcat Cafe is serving chicken, chicken and cheddar quesadillas, rice and beans, and corn on the hotline today. Individual cheese pizzas, toasted ham and cheese croissants, and chicken patties are at the grill. The featured wrap is a turkey BLT with ranch. Warm, freshly baked donuts and assorted breakfast sandwiches are available at break. The boys' varsity team lost an exciting game to East Bridgewater. Every shot counted in this thriller as John Fondulas, Matt Lawler, and the rest of the Wildcats turned in a gusty performance. The great news is that the team will be back on the hardwood tonight slightly west of Bridgewater on our home court. They will take on Sacred Heart in a conference game at 5. The JV team gave up an early lead to, to lead to a loss at East Bridgewater by the score of, of a 65-37. They look to rise from the ashes against Sacred Heart today at 3.30. Congratulations to the girls' indoor track team for their 76-24 win against Coyle Cassidy. Special shout-outs to Emma Bedard for taking first in the 300-meter race and 55-meter hurdles. Devin McCarthy for first in the one mile. Maggie Allen for first in the 600-meter race and 1,000-meter race. Caitlin McGrath for first in the two mile. Megan Weatherby, Emily Outerbridge, and Megan Outerbridge for sweeping shot put. Emma Bedard, Olivia Sarantopoulos, and McKenna O'Neill for sweeping long jump. Congratulations to the boys' indoor track team who fought hard against Coyle Cassidy. Although the team ultimately took a loss, we had some outstanding performances by Matt DeLuca, who took, who took first in the 300-meter race as well as long jump, and Jackson Roberts, who took first place in shot put. Ultimately, the moment that stunned us all was the night for the boys' 4x200 relay team, made up by Derek Thorburn, Thorburn, Joelle Smith, Zach Dickinson, and as you heard it right, Jackson Roberts, who kicked some serious... Whoa, 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 this is a family show! Well, you know, they, and they won the relay. For the past two and a half weeks, students from San Ramon, Costa Rica, have been visiting West Bridgewater for our exchange program. Here is Victoria and Jose for a brief thank you. We want to thank all of, of Wiz Bridgewater School for having us for these two weeks. Thank you for the families and the host teacher. Thank you all the students and thank you the principal and Ms. Page. It was an amazing experience. Thank you very much. Gracias a todo West Bridgewater de parte de los costarricenses que lo hemos pasado excelente. Son momentos y experiencias que jamás vamos a olvidar y estamos muy felices de estar aquí y vamos a estar muy tristes mañana de irnos. Y eh, gracias a toda la familia que nos recibieron y nos han tratado excelente. Muchas gracias West Bridgewater. Cozy Corner for Middle School Girls will meet today during Power Block in Guidance. And lastly, a happy birthday to Madison Brooks. That's all for the announcements today. On behalf of Hannah, the Costa Rican students, myself, and the morning crew, have, have a great day. day.